Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and I am here with the wifey. The wifey. So, uh, it is Sunday morning, and we haven't been down to the friendly marketplace bin store in quite some time, so we are going to be heading there. It is currently 8 47 in the morning, they open up at 11. It is our restock day. And uh, yeah, we haven't been there in a while. Plus, we're gonna go visit my uh, grandpa after this, my opa, that's what I call him, I'm German. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, we're gonna go hopefully find some treasure. And uh, yeah, wish us luck, you guys. Much love. If you guys could please hit that subscribe button, like button, and all that good stuff, uh, it greatly helps us here over on the channel. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get on the road to the bin store. To the bin, bin store. store. To the bin store. We'll see you guys in a sec. You ready to do this, man? I'm gonna go in front of you. How's everybody doing today? Morning, morning. Good morning. What ain't going on? Jeez. What the? Oh, there you go. Woo. Too much to drink last night. What's going on? What's up? Not Let's much. How y'all? How y'all doing? Good. Good. Good, morning. Good, morning. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? Go, Charlie. Go. I understand. I Not much. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. How's everybody doing today? Yes, I am still sick, unfortunately, <clears throat> but we are going to do our best without coughing. And if I do do it a little bit, I do apologize. But uh, yeah, today is a, another bin store video. So uh, we are down in Savannah today. We are at the friendly marketplace and each item is gonna be $6. Now, it is the cheapest bin store around me. So that means they are the cheapest priced per item store that is near me falling in second place would be black friday deals but i just want to put something in theory you guys so the friendly marketplace obviously is not as big as black friday deals um however you guys would be very surprised on how much stuff you can actually find here it's just hard for me to get down here sometimes because it is on a sunday <clears throat> sunday i do hang out with my wife we're listing we're doing all types of stuff on sundays so it is hard to get down here but this sunday we are here so what i was going to say was just imagine if i came here in numerous numerous weeks right and we go over to black friday's numerous weeks and let's just say we found 100 items over here at friendly marketplace and then 100 items over here at black friday deals guess what so let's say 100 times 7 is 700 dollars is what i would have spent at black friday deals right but if i'm over here at friendly marketplace finding the equal amount of stuff then that means i would be spending 600 dollars for 100 dollars times six so therefore i, I basically I, I didn't spend a hundred extra dollars. I'm just saying, just keep that in mind when you guys are going to bin stores. Just because they're cheaper and you, know, you might not find like a crazy amount of stuff, I mean, it's just, you know, just keep that in mind. That extra dollar goes such a long way in the long run. 
Now, you know, some people might be like, oh, six to seven dollars is only, you know, five items, whatever. Well, guess what? You just, you literally saved five dollars compared to Black Friday deals. Now, <clears throat> I'm not saying anything bad about Black Friday deals or the friendly marketplace. I'm just using my head in theory because every dollar counts in this business. So if you want to spend an extra hundred dollars here compared to, you know, at Black Friday deals where you normally would have, you know, I'm not saying waste that money, but normally you would have spent that money then that means you could get an extra, uh, you know, a whole bunch more items here compared to Black Fridays. So all I'm saying is that dollar can go in a very, very long way. And and that's one of the reasons why this is the first bin store I ever went to. There's a first bin store that opened up around me, and it's the first bin store I started doing business with. Uh, they're very cool people. Aaron, Mr. Gerald, uh, Tim, I mean, you, I mean, you have it, literally everybody. Hunter, the, the, the whole crew here is just, is, is extremely cool. And matter of fact, <clears throat> shout out to uh, Mr. Gerald. He actually gave me a, a, a very good price. Now, I'm not sure if it was this week or if it was <clears throat> the following week, but he had uh, four of these overhead storage racks, and he actually let me have them for $25 a piece. There's four of them brand new, <clears throat> and I have them in my garage right now. And as we were loading them up in the truck, he actually said, hey, Brandon, I'm going to give you this other one for free. <clears throat> so essentially, I, had, I got $20 a piece into each one. <clears throat> and he said I could sell them. I can do whatever I want with them. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna use two of them, and uh, I'm probably gonna give one to my brother, one, one to my dad, or maybe even try to sell the other one. I'm not too sure yet, but uh, they're actually worth about 120 bucks a piece, and uh, that's kind of crazy uh, that we got over 500 dollars worth of stuff for 100 bucks. So uh, shout out to Mr. Gerald for that. He uh, he definitely hooked me up <clears throat> with with that good stuff. So, uh, but anyways. Enough of me rambling. As you guys can tell, we're, we're looking through the bins and uh, you know, we're trying to see if we can find anything that someone overlooked. That's why we always dig to the very bottom because, believe it or not, we've, we have found some crazy items at the bottom of the bins. And, and that's the biggest thing. A lot of people don't want to do it. But <clears throat> in this business, if you want to be successful, you have to do it. Uh, but uh, yeah, with that being said, let's, uh, let's go ahead and roll and see what we got. Hello, Charlie. Ready? Yeah. We'll go right here. All right guys, so we just got done with uh, the Friendly Marketplace. It's here off of King George Boulevard in Savannah, Georgia. There's their address right there, 821 King George Boulevard, Savannah, Georgia, 31419. Um, so uh, long story short, um, we were only gonna spend $84. When Mr. Gerald came up to me, and he was like, hey listen, we got some racks, uh, for overhead racks for uh, garages. And he said, I'm making me a good deal on them. He said, 25 bucks a piece. And I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and do it because I think I can use a couple. I might give one to my brother um, and maybe even one to my dad. Uh, we'll definitely see on that. But technically, I only spent $84 to resell. Um, but in total, we spent $200. So, um, and on top of that, they gave us they gave us some nice uh, presents. Oh, yeah, here's the presents they gave us. Look at this. They gave us this Lego flower set. That's really, really cool. That's, pre that's pretty dope. Um, 756 pieces. So, yeah. we got us some Lego stuff. Um, There's something Disney maybe? Something Disney. Rainbow Disney, open it up. It's a dishwasher safe, so I don't know. Oh, it's a water bottle. Oh, nice, look at that. Yeah, Drink cool our water. Idea. So yeah, it's very cool. They always do this to us. I don't know why, but they always do it. They always give us some presents, which is very nice of them. Um, they know they don't have to do that, but they're very, very sweet. And then uh, we bought some cookies that were like two for a dollar. Um, and then we got some really cool stuff. Um, the Lego stuff we're obviously keeping, uh, like this Jeep Wrangler, I think that's what it is, yeah. Um, so we're keeping that, found a cheat thing, a couple more Legos. Uh, I think the best thing we found was that Sunbeam mattress bed. There's like $100 plus. Um, but we might be able to make our money back even with buying the rack. So um, definitely good stuff today. And uh, yeah, you happy? I'm very happy. All right, high five. So and we'll do the recap whenever we get to the house. And guys, please come check out Friendly Marketplace because they do help out with veterans. Yep. So please come check them out. You know, contribute to our u.s veterans of today so yeah support yeah friendly marketplace is a great place you guys we haven't been here in a while but i think every sunday we're going to start coming back i know i've said that before but we're moving our golf uh, our golf times to the afternoon on sunday so we're, we're going to be able to come here every sunday so um but yeah we found some really good stuff some really good solid stuff and uh 
yeah, pretty happy. Yay! All right, we're going to go home for the recap. All right, guys, check it out, man. We are back at the house, and we're going to be doing a recap. This is many hours later, probably around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And just to verify that, no, wow, it's almost 5. So, um, so yeah, we just got done with, or a few hours ago, we just got done with uh, uh, Friendly Marketplace. And uh, what can I say? We found some really good, solid stuff. Uh, we haven't been there in a hot minute, mainly because we usually golf on Sundays. And we normally push our golf days in the uh, later in the afternoon. Uh, but we did not golf today. Um, we were going to, but we decided not to at the last second. So, uh, because it's about to storm. Um, well, it was. I don't know. But look who's here. It's Max. What Maxim is doing. Say hi, buddy. Oh, he wants his daddy. Come in here. You record, baby. Here, you record. He wants a daddy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, he's a daddy's boy, ain't that right? Yeah, he's daddy boy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's my buddy. Yeah? He had to come see his daddy. He had to come see his daddy. Hey, good boy. You can go see mama. All right, you can go see mama. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry. So I had to show you guys our dog, Max. Um, So, yeah. Uh, So we spent a total of like $200, but... Uh, just for the reselling purposes, we spent $84. Uh, I spent an additional $100 because um, Mr. Gerald uh, hooked me up. He said that, hey, I got something that you might be interested in. And I was like, yeah, let's go check it out. Uh, so to give you guys a general idea, let me close the garage so I can really show you guys of what we're talking about here. Okay, so let's get a little, a little darker in here. But... Um, what we're gonna do is uh, in the very back of his store i guess he said nobody's been buying it or it's been sitting around and it's taking up a lot of room but he had four overhead garage uh storage racks i guess is what they call them storage things and essentially they mount to your roof and they come down and they sit flat like a regular rack and you can put storage stuff in there and i realized from this point all the way over to my garage on the flat part of the ceiling right all that's being unused and just look how big it is even whenever the garage door goes up we should be able to mount at least two of them up here and i might give my brother and my dad one i'm not sure but we paid 25 bucks a piece and i feel like that's a steal so he gave me a really good deal so shout out to mr gerald um also shout out to them because uh they even gave us some presents and you guys will see that in a sec um but yeah so we're gonna put maybe two up there to where maybe we can condense some of this stuff up there in storage then we can work on this rack and then we'll move stuff up here and you know list it and whatnot but that's the that's the idea so whenever he said 25 dollars a piece i had to take it all right guys open the garage back up but uh let's go over the let's go over the recap so sorry about that all right so this is gonna be stuff that's for ourselves we'll go over the stuff that they gave us to uh they gave us in presents or i'm sorry that what they give they have given us as presents gosh i cannot talk today and then we'll go over the stuff that we're going to resell uh, so all this stuff right here is the stuff that we have kept for ourselves. So we found these in the bins. We got this Lego Creator 3-in-1 Lego set. Um, if you guys know, I build Legos um, as a hobby, but also too because it helps my anxiety. Then we got this Star Wars Mandalorian Battle Pack. I don't think I have that one, so that's pretty cool. And part of the Technic thing, I believe this is like a $50 set, maybe a little bit more technic jeep wrangler pretty cool stuff um this is actually what started me with the lego collection i started uh building technic cars so that's pretty cool and then this right here is a kes uh paper tower uh towel holder um i'll try to open it for you guys that's kind of what it looks like like that um but also too you can also have just the bar that comes down from the bottom of your uh, cabinet in your kitchen like this and it'll basically go out like that to where you just put the roll in like that hopefully that made sense um but yeah so we kept that for ourselves to see if maybe it'll go good in the kitchen but we will definitely see then we got two packs of 100 triple a batteries you guys these things are amazing because we are we are always testing stuff and that right there is 200 triple a batteries that we get to test stuff in so that's not money earned but it's money saved in the long haul you know whenever i you know uh whenever i go to uh, buy more batteries we don't have to because we now have them also as a gift from from uh from aaron and mr gerald uh is this uh, scented candle pretty cool so i'm pretty sure that's for the wifey um and then uh all of this right here plus the scented candle is the uh gifts the presents that they give that they have given us but we're going to save that for last so getting into the stuff that we are going to re uh, be reselling um this right here is a sunbeam heated quilted mattress pad king size we did open it up and it is brand new on the inside uh this right here is going for like a hundred dollars plus so that's a very very good find um that uh that i found 
Um, I also found this Black & Decker uh, coffee machine. And it is used, unfortunately. But however, pre-owned, it looks like they're going for about $20 plus shipping. So for 6 bucks, turn it into 20 is still not bad. I don't know what this goes for, but this is a Chi. Chi does pretty good for us. Um, but it is a Spin & Curl uh, Matte Black. Uh, and it is brand new on the inside. Uh, this Braun all-in-one trimmer. A uh, nine-in-one trimmer kit. I'm trying to see if there's a there's a model number on here, and I do not see one. Unless that's it right there. MGK three nine eight zero TS. So that's brand new, uh, sealed. Pretty awesome stuff. We got this world's number one electric fence light. Easy to install Z bulb plus. I don't really know. It's made in the USA, so that's uh, that's what caught my eye to this. I want to say it's going for like thirty to forty. Not too sure. Uh, then you got this Wheeler 34 millimeter Fit Savage 10 short action. I don't I don't know what it is exactly. Just a mount. What is it a mount for? It says one piece scope mount. Either way, uh, this was worth it. I found it, so it's got to be worth something. Next thing is this uh, SIM code uh, wireless scanner. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because it is brand new on the inside. If I can get it open, there we go. It is brand new on the inside, but this is what it looks like portable bluetooth scanner so maybe you can just oh look at that boom it works and look at that, it even scans that's pretty dope so maybe you can like scan stuff into like amazon for like fba that is extremely cool and i don't think i can turn it off can i mean if i hold it down no okay so maybe maybe we even keep that for ourselves for if we ever do amazon fba we can just scan stuff in and send stuff in not too sure on that um next is this xbox one shock blue controller um I guess technically it's not new, even though it is in new condition. Uh, it just doesn't have the charger. Um, but the thumbsticks are amazing. I mean, this thing literally has like nowhere to it. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, again, got all this stuff for $6, you guys. If you guys have never been to the Friendly Marketplace, they're located off of King George Boulevard in Savannah, Georgia. On their uh, big restock days, which are on Sundays, they open up at 11 and each item is going to be $6. Um, this item right here is brand new also. This is a Kasori Smart Electric Gooseneck Kettle. And I think the coolest thing about this, so that's the uh, model number CS108-NK. But the coolest thing about it is, is Bluetooth. <laughs> so that is extremely cool. I've never seen a Bluetooth kettle. And uh, we actually sold, I believe, a Kasori slow cooker, I think, for like $105. Uh, so Kasori uh, should be a good brand, but yeah, beautiful stuff. All right, now that's everything that we have for resale that we picked up. Not sure if we're going to resell any of the stuff that we've gotten from Aaron and Mr. Gerald. However, um, I do see a few things that we are going to sell. Uh, but first things first is going to be this botanical, botanical collection flower bouquet. This is extremely cool. 756 pieces, you guys. Now, I'm curious if you build the vase with it. Maybe the vase comes with it. I'm not sure. But this is extremely cool. So, uh, yes, I will be building this flower bouquet. Or I might let my wife build it. I don't know yet. It's a little girly, but uh, the wife might be able to build that. But I kind of want to build it, too, because this looks really cool and looks difficult. So, I like difficult stuff like this. So, uh, that's definitely going to our personal collection. Um, let's go with this. So, this is a Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl champions hat new era stretch hat and it is brand spanking new uh so i don't know what that will go for but it's got to be a few bucks um since it was recent um and then <laughs> they gave us these stickers that say let's go brandon <laughs> so, and that's my name my name is brandon so uh, we're definitely gonna keep that um we do have a couple of uh filters or a few filters so a few things here is that we do not sell filters anymore over on eBay because of Vero purposes and I just want to avoid it altogether. So all this stuff will be going on uh, Macari most likely. But uh, this Frigidaire Pure Air Ultra Replacement Air Filter, um, I think that's pretty cool. So that definitely go on Macari. Uh, this Frigidaire Pure Source Ultra Filter, which is Ultra WF Frigidaire. So yeah, that's also brand new. Going to go on Macari. I believe this is used. So unfortunately we can't use that, but that is fine. They gave it to us for free. So again, I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, so this one is used. So this one's probably going to have to go in the trash, but that is perfectly a-okay. Um, again, they, they look after us um, and they, they spoil us. I'll tell you guys that now. They, they spoil us with deals. They give us presents. I mean, it's just, I mean, they're just very, very, very good people and shout out to them. Like I said, the friendly marketplace people are, are just amazing. Their, their whole staff is really cool. 
Um, but this uh, Wet Watten H2O Filter 1. And yeah, so we got two of those. I'm not sure what those would go for, but uh, yeah, we will put that on Macari. And the last but not least, this thing says Disney on it. It says Rainbow Disney Collection in Celebration of Pride Month 2021. Sounds pretty cool. Let's just see if we can open it. Oh, look at that. It's a Rainbow Pride water jug. That is really cool with the little sippy with the little sippy straw on it. It does have a barcode on it, so it is Disney. So this is definitely cool. Um, not sure what the value of it's going to be, but again, I think that is uh, that is wonderful. So we'll, we'll actually keep that out of the box till we can do it correctly. I don't want to run the box. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys, that is everything that we got today at uh, the Friendly Marketplace. Again, we spent like eighty-four dollars and all that good stuff. So uh yeah i think we did really well uh in exception of us spending another hundred dollars on racks which is a steal i still think even all this stuff once it sells i still think we're going to uh make our money back plus some so uh essentially the racks are free so let's get it so uh yeah much love you guys thank you guys so much for watching you guys will see the potential profit and how much we spent so much love you guys thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate each and every one of you guys who watch these videos i uh, <laughs> again i can't express my gratitude for you guys because at the end of the day you guys make this happen and i wouldn't have the motivation without you guys so i'm not gonna uh, give you guys a sob story i love you guys so uh we'll see you guys uh next video peace